Right, this week's um, little video is another one of my not how to but how I do videos and it's how I service my engine. Um, I've actually serv serviced the engine three times now and I've gone through some old video footage on the computer and I've found um, this footage of my very first time that I serviced the engine. So the reason I'm bunging this up is maybe it will inspire somebody who's not too um, confident DIY um, just to show that it is um, quite an easy task um, to do. Right, I'm in my main cave at the moment, going to be uh, servicing the engine, which is basically um, oil cha engine oil change, gearbox oil change, change the air filter, oil filter, primary fuel filter and secondary fuel filter. So I'll show you where those are. Now depending on um, what type of narrowboat you've got, you're either got, going to have a traditional stern, a semi-trad or a cruiser stern, um, will depend on how much room you've actually got around your engine. People with the cruiser sterns <clears throat> um, can normally actually stand around their engine and lots of room to work. Mine unfortunately is a traditional stern and you'll see just how uh, tight that can be in there. Right, so to change the oil, unlike on it under a car or a vehicle, you'd have a, um, a nut on the sump that you'd undo to drain the sump. What we actually have here is a, a little lift pump. Um, so we can physically suck the oil up from the sump into a container uh, to change the oil. Now the, the filters we've got just around here, fuel filter, which is the primary fuel filter. We then have the secondary fuel filter there. Down, you can just see down there, there's the oil filter. And in that big plastic housing there goes the air filter. Now there's the gearbox. Um, there's the dipstick on the gearbox there and the filler nut but underneath the gearbox is where you have to undo a nut on the gearbox to change the gearbox oil. So that one's going to be a little bit awkward to get to. Right, now I've got a 20 litre um, jerry can to pump all the old oil out into. Now what I need to do is fashion a bit of pipe from somewhere to put it on the end of the little lift pump um, to then feed it into the, the neck of the jerry can. Well, that seems to have worked. I had an old piece of um, plastic water pipe which fitted on there a treat. So that's just a matter of doing this for seven and a half litres worth of pumps. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised how well that went. Uh, having never done it before. A uh, couple of minutes of, of pumping and all the oil was out. So. I've now got my new oil filter ready. Uh, give that a smear of clean oil ready to go on. The fun bit is going to be getting the old one off. Uh, it looks quite tight in there. And um, I've got a, I did have a spanner. Oh, it's lost my face. A spanner. Now I've got a, it's actually a dog poo bag to put round the oil filter as I unscrew it so any oil in the filter will be caught in the bag and not drain all, all over the place. So hopefully this works. <laughs> well, it was all going well, unscrewing it with the bag on it until I actually dropped uh, the oil filter and the bag into the sump upside down, sod's law. And so it landed butter side down and all the oils drained out of the filter into the sump. So I've got to somehow get my arm in there and clean it out. 
Well, that's the nice new shiny oil filter in place. Uh, I've managed to clear up most of the oil I've spilt, which I, is important really, because if you keep a reasonably clean engine, every time you look in there to do your daily checks, you can see there's new oil or new water dripping somewhere, then um, it will indicate a problem. Right, just checking on my Barrashire manual. Now, according to this, um, we have in the Barrashire 45, 7.4 litres of engine oil, and it's got the PRM 150 gearbox, so there's 1.4 litres of oil in there. And this is the oil that I've chosen. Yeah, so it's a Morris lubricant, and as per manufacturer's instructions, it's a 15W40. So we're gonna use approximately um, one and a half of those in the engine and uh, with virtually the remainder going in the gearbox. Yeah, so I've got my funnel ready. So it's just a matter of pouring this first one in. Then what I'll do, I've got a litre jug. I shall measure the other two and a half litres out, put in there. Well, there's about 1.4 litres of oil in the gearbox and I've managed to fashion a container to get underneath the gearbox to catch it. I've got to lay on the engine and get my arms under there somehow. So uh, I'll join you when I finish this. Now, because that's a little bit inaccessible there and I've got to put 1.4 litres in, I've got a smaller funnel in there and I'm measuring out 500 litres twice and then 400. 500 litres, that would be a, a big gearbox, right. 500 millilitres twice and then 400 millilitres, making it up to 1.4 litres. So doing it in small measures, I'm able to uh, pour it in without getting it everywhere. Well, well chuffed, that all went to plan. That's fully serviced the engine. Uh, no major dramas, which is uh, very rare for me. Uh, something either breaks or I get halfway through something and I find I've got the wrong part. Um, but that's the engine oil and gearbox oil changed. Um, fuel filter, primary and secondary, and uh, obviously the oil filter changed. Check the coolant levels, they're all okay, and use a hydrometer to check we've got the right amount of antifreeze in, and that's all good. So, nice one. So if you found this um, video useful, give us a thumbs up. Uh, maybe it's inspired you to um, service your own engine. As I said before, this is not a how to, but how I do. Um, so please um, seek professional help. Read your service manual for your uh, particular type of engine and check other YouTube tutorials out there on how to carry out the full service properly. If you can think of any more not how to but how I do inspired videos you'd like to see leave it in the comments section below again if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button if you want notifications of any future videos hit the bell icon and you'll be notified and I think that's about it Bon yeah okay bye thank you for that my darling thank you for